Quick look at a Heathkit capacitor substitution box. This is a model IN47. It's quite old. It's uh, internally, it's the same as the model, I think it's a CS1, which was like the original. And then they've had a few other models that look a little different, but they're all electrically the same. So uh, it's old. So no big surprise. It's it's not dependable at this point. Uh, probably just about all the capacitors need to be replaced. This one actually looks okay. This is 0.22 microfarad, but we go to the 0.15 and it's almost the same value as that. Like I almost thought maybe they were wired together somehow, but no, they're not. It's just that one's that far off and yep, same with 0.1. That's really out 0.068. 0 0.047, 0 0.033. They're just all reading really high on the uh, meter. And uh, yeah, I this thing is probably from the 1960s. So it's been a, they've been in there a while and who knows how it was taken care of. And But even if it was cared for, they just, these old capacitors don't last. So I've already got the screws out just so we can look inside and you know this is what I love. I, I just love the construction of these vintage Heath kit projects. No PCB, just all the capacitors tied between the uh, rotary switch and this uh, kind of rod, that uh, rail that serves as the common. Pretty cool. So I'm not sure what I'll do with this yet. I picked it up because the price was pretty good. <clears throat> I got it for $25 uh, shipped. So, and you can see everything looks good. The, the case is not chipped or cracked. The face looks pretty good. No major scratches or anything. <clears throat> so it looks nice. I may, uh, may refurb it someday. We'll see, but... Uh, I'm going to focus on, I've got a RS1 resistor box, which I'll show in another video that I'm going to focus on first. But, yep, just wanted to share this briefly uh, before I pack it up and set it aside for another day. Thanks for watching.